Hi guys, Kat here with After 40 Art, and today we're going to swatch the Carbothellos. Hi guys, so this is my new set of Carbothellos. As you guys know, I already have a um, full set of the Derwent pastel pencils. And not quite a full set, but a lot of the um, Pit pastel pencils. Uh... And I have those all swatched out like this because I like to take the edge of the thing and line it up on the reference picture or on the computer screen or whatever I'm using to kind of get like the right color. Um, so I have those already. So we're going to make some for the Carbothellos for the Carbothellos today. I have not used these yet, so um, I'm just going to open them. I was kind of surprised that this is the only, it, it, it feels like a paper towel. <laughs> this was the only protection in the box. Um, but these are all the colors that we have. And I kind of wanted to, I kind of wanted to have all of them, like the different brands because, and I'll just bring this over so I can show you guys really quick. So if you look at the Carbothellos here, we have some of the blues and things they have like the max um this maximum value or plus so the light fastness ratings right so if i have these ones then i could take out these like the top ones the fours and the fives and then if i go to the pit pastels i can take out the threes and then over here i can pull all the sevens and eights and then I'll pretty much have a fairly decent range of everything because um, the Derwent have a couple of reds that are pretty decent. But then the Carbothello also has a couple of reds that are pretty decent. But the uh, Pit Pastels have no reds <laughs> that are like, they're just, just dark red. That's it. Just And that's actually more of a brown, honestly, but I don't have that color, so... But if you kind of mix them together, if you want to make sure that you're only using the most light fast colors, if you're selling them pictures or something, you know, or you want to hang it in an area that could be potentially exposed to light. So that is why I'm, that's why I have the different ones. And that's my, my intent is eventually like sort them out into that kind of thing. Um... But then right now we're just gonna swatch them onto these. I've already kind of prepared these with, uh, what is it called? Jelly roll. Which, oh, I'll need that anyway because I need to write the numbers on it. And uh, so yeah, I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna start. I'll probably start with the whites. I probably need to move this around this way just for more space purposes. And let's see, how was I doing the other ones? Yeah, I just wrote the number. So all of these say 1400 slash something. So we're just gonna write the number at the other end. And there should be 60 colors in total. I like that the, that it's it feels really smooth. I like that there's like a, that it's, just, it's just a really smooth barrel. That feels really nice in the hand. I have to take this all the way to the edge because I, like I said, I use them to hold them up to the, um, to the actual pictures themselves. Whether that's on the computer screen or in a picture photo or something. But yeah, I guess I can uh, put some music over this and speed this up and bring you guys back when I'm done.
Okay, so far we're halfway. I really like the softness of these, it's really nice. Just, it's just a couple of colors that don't feel very, um, very soft, and that would be the white. And this 330 Prussian blue color, they just don't feel, um, they just don't feel that soft. I don't really know why, but they just don't. But that could just be the pigments or something. Um, but if I look at the swatches from the other sets. There. Like, they're really different. You can actually see a difference in what there is available. So like here, this is this is the pit pastels. They're kind of similar, but kind of not. Like the white and the cream are fine. They're kind of the same, but the yellows are different. I guess that 109 and that 215 are similar, but not really. That one is also a bit on the similar side, but not totally. Like they're just slightly off from each other. This one is, the Carbothello is much more rich. And if I look at the Derwent, oh, yeah, that's the Derwent. So you can also see on the Derwent, the white is a bit brighter on the Derwent than it is on the Carbothello or the Pit Pastels. But then on the yellows, we have, we have more yellows to choose from here and more oranges, and more reds, but then we also don't have very much in the brown tones like we do in the Pit Pastel, and I don't know about the Carbothellos yet because I haven't finished them, but I just uh, thought I would kind of stop here just to kind of show that there is a difference. It's uh, It does kind of uh, make sense to have more than one set because the, the shades are slightly different. So yeah. Now I'm just going to flip this around and go on with the other side. I just need to move these. So, I'm going to take that. No, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. There we go. 5.30, is that the next one? Yeah. Thank you. 
that is actually really pretty. I like these a lot, guys. So very, very much. Like, look at that. So that is the color range of the Carbothellos. And when I put them side by side with... Which ones are these? Are these the Derwent? Yeah. So these are the Derwent. And I, I mean... The colors are so different. They really are. There's a lot of very variation with the, the colors available. So these are the... I also like that the barrels... I don't know if you guys noticed this when, but when I put this up here. The barrels actually match the color on the pencil for most of them. There's a few here, like this one... Is that the right? No, this is this one. Okay, yeah, so they actually match. That one is that one, that one is that one, that one is that one, and there. Well, let me just flip it this way. There. They actually match the barrels, which is very impressive. Um, it's very, 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 very nice. I don't want to touch the edges on them. Then when I look at what I have available in the... Don't worry about this row here. Is I was gonna do the polychromos as well, but I didn't. Yes. Well, you all know that I'm the, the procrastinator crazy person. Um, and these are the polychromos pastel sticks. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but they've been discontinued. Um, and they kind of look like I have a bunch of them, but I'll just grab the glue here. They kind of look like this. It's just the pastel sticks. Um, they have a bit. They have a bit more of a waxy texture almost. Um, so I don't use them that often. But when I look at the when I look at the color range that's available, this is the Carbothellos. These are the pits, and then this is the Derwent. So I mean, it is a pretty impressive color range that I have available now that I have these in here, but I noticed that, like, some of these are a lot brighter than the Derwent's. Like, Derwent has a lot of, like, purples, but they're dull. And then if you look at the Carbothello purples, they're really bright. They don't have as many of them, but they're really bright, which is really nice. And Paper Castell, literally, I have one purple, but it still doesn't match any of the other purples. So I think this was a really good idea to get these. I just need to mark out which ones are which so I don't get them confused. <laughs> I also like that this one has the, that the Carbothellos has a lot of grays. That was something I was missing in the other sets actually. Um, Faber-Castell has like a warm gray and like two warm grays and two cool grays and a black. Basically. And you get like the same kind of thing here. You get like a warm gray, a cool gray another gray, another gray, a black, and a white. And that is not a, that's a brown. So, I mean, there are differences. I'm pretty happy with them though. They're, they're definitely, they definitely feel different and they are a bit brighter. Um, I'm gonna have to do some checking though because the light fastness stars on the paper that I have from the website do not match the light fastness stars on the pencils. Um, also, there's a bit of a, um, I noticed it when I was, like, filling in the squares. There's a bit of a, bit of an odd smell from some of the pencils. Um, I want to say almost like, almost like gasoline, but not quite. Which is odd because there shouldn't be, like, a gasoline, unless it's, like, the lacquer or something that they use. Um... But I don't get that from the paper castell pencils or the Derwent pencils. Also, this this is annoying. I'm gonna have to get a case for these because this they do not fit in the tray provided. <laughs> it's nice that it comes with a blending stump. That is nice. It also comes with this kneaded eraser, um, but I think it's kind of dried out because kneaded erasers shouldn't those be kind of gummy texture? Unless it's just me. Like, how do I even get it out of there? 
it looks like it should just peel off but it's not wanting to do that maybe maybe Oop. can't figure out how to get it yeah that's weird this should not be that difficult to open i'll just grab my little knife here None of my other sets came with anything like this. So I just, I've just i just been using these ones. Yeah. The Faber-Castell uh, gummy erasers, kneadable erasers or whatever they are. This is the ones I use. Um, I don't think this is going to be able to erase anything from like pastel mat, for instance. Because it needs to be able to go in. But I guess I could. Nah, not really. I guess I'll be fine for graphite. An eraser is an eraser, right? It also came with this uh, pencil sharpener, which I will not be using because I will only be using. Um, I will only be using my hovel for pastels because it works better for them. I also don't waste any of the pigment that way. But yeah, I don't know. I'm happy with these colors. I'm kind of happy that I got these. Also, this is kind of like, you know, my, my channel is one year old, yay, kind of thing with these colors, yeah. They're very vibrant. And I'm very happy with them. We'll see how they do in some artwork. Maybe at a later date. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will catch you guys in the next video.